Hello, and welcome to the channel. You can call me Mr. Turkey Chaser. Currently, I'm working on a series of videos about breeds of chickens, and in this video, we will be talking about the Americana chicken. The Americana chicken is a growing favorite among people who raise chickens. Its unique beard, color variations, temperament, but most importantly, egg color, allow this breed to really stand out in the poultry world. But where does it come from? How did it come to be and how long has it been around? Well, to understand the history of the Americana, we first need to know about another very similar breed, the Aracana. While there is much debate as to which came first, many enthusiasts will agree the Aracana came first, originating in South America. I'll go more into detail about the Aracana in my uh, Aracana video, but basically, the Aracana had one major flaw which surprisingly did very little to stall its rise in popularity when it came to America. That was a specific gene that was only in this breed of chicken which caused the embryos of fertilized eggs to die. This made it incredibly difficult to breed. However, thanks to very selective breeding over the course of decades, as well as several arguments and disagreements that caused entire poultry clubs to fold because of internal issues, a new club in 1979 took a vote on all the requirements of this new breed and the name of it, officially introducing the standard for the Americana chicken. Arguably the best part of this new breed the gene that caused embryos to die in the Aracana had been practically eliminated. The breed would gain entry into the, Ameri the American Poultry Association just a few short years later. The Americana chicken may have origins in the Aracana of South America, but the legitimate standards for the breed was decided in America where it was also given its name, both of which set it apart from its forebears. It's a common enough conversation to be had, as technically this is a dual purpose breed. However, mo most people raise them for their beautiful blue eggs, as well as their many different color varieties. While most people have them as backyard pets, a lot of other people try to enter them into poultry shows. However, in order to enter one under the name, the bird in question must adhere to strict standards of the American Poultry Association. The standard size Americana chicken must adhere to these standards. The adult rooster must weigh six and a half pounds. The adult hen must weigh five and a half pounds. The young rooster must weigh five and a half pounds, and the young pullet must weigh four and a half pounds. The bantam rooster must weigh 30, pound, 30 ounces. The adult hen bantam must weigh 26 ounces. The young rooster must weigh 26 ounces, and the young pullet must weigh 24 ounces. Recognized color varieties are black, blue, blue wheaten, brown red, buff, silver, wheaten, and white. The shapes of the bird must be as follows. Must have, the male must have a pea comb, beak must be curved, the face must be nearly hidden by muffs, eyes must be expressive, wattles must be small, preferably absent, earlobes must be small, muffs and beard must be full, well-rounded, and medium length, the head must be of medium size, the neck must be well arched, the hackle must be full, 
back must be medium length, saddle medium length, tail must be well spread medium length carried at 45 degrees above horizontal. His wings must be fairly large with tips carried above the hock joint. His breast must be prominent. His body and stern must be of medium length and his stern must be well tucked up. Legs and toes must be of medium length and set apart and must have four toes on each foot. The female shape is as follows. Her comb must be P. She must have a curved beak. Her face must be nearly hidden by muffs. Her eyes must be expressive. Waddles must be small, preferably absent. Earlobes must be small. Her muffs and beard must be full, well-rounded, and medium length. Her head must be medium size. Neck, medium length. Hackle must be full. Her back must be medium length. Her cushion must be moderate. Her tail must be medium length, well spread, and carried at 40 degrees above horizontal. Wings must be fairly prominent and carried above the hock joint. Her breast must be full. Her body and stern must be full but trim and fluff well tucked up. Her legs and toes must be medium in length with four toes on each foot. And those are the standards as recognized by the American Poultry Association for the Americana Chicken. Thank you so much for walking, watching this video and have a good day.